So I'm gonna scroll over a little bit and just copy this pink server function name and go back to the UI. And we need to go right here. So wherever we have this anchor tag, I'm gonna put a click event here. So I'm gonna say open and close parentheses and then click. So we're registering a click event and whenever this occurs, we want to call our function. Remember, we're still in the loop in the table. So let me scroll to the right a little. Remember, we're still inside of this table. So we're looping through all of the servers you can see here. So we have access to each server in their IP address. So here we can say server that IP address. So we pass in the IP address to ping server which is what it's expecting. And that's pretty much everything we have to do in terms of the UI. So whenever the user clicks on this button, we're gonna call ping server, pass in the IP address, and then we're gonna do all of this processing. So let's see if it works. Let's go back to the UI. All right, everything looks good, so I don't have any issues. So now let's go ahead and try to ping, let's say the first server, and ping, okay. So it looks like it was successful. Let's open the developer tool just so we can take a look. So if I clear this and refresh so that we can get a new uh, set of response. So here's the response and you can see inside of the data, I have four servers. All right, so the first one is 160, as you can see here. So let's see if we can ping it, so ping. All right, so let's go back. You can see that the call was successful, so we get the 200 from the back end, and the message was ping success. Inside of the data, we have the server, which is the same server with ID 1. So everything seems to be working. So let's do another one. Can I collapse some of these? So let's do this one. Let's do the 58, because I don't think I have this 58 connected. So it should take some time. We should see the loading spinner, and then it should give us, you know, server a ping feel. So let's do this. You can see it's spinning now for only the server, and then you can see ping fail. And inside, we're going to have that particular server with any updated information. In that case, this was already down, so the server down is still the same. So the ping seems to be working, and you can try it for all of them. It should work just fine. Uh, okay, so that didn't work. So I don't think I have this 21 either in my network. So if we ping that one, it should take some time, and then the server up should turn to server down. So let's try that one. Okay, let's let it go. You can see server down because we updated the server in the list. So everything is working as expected.